But no, Joe Biden tweeted on Transgender Day of Visibility, we celebrate not Easter, but the joy, strength and absolute courage of some of the bravest people I know. Today we show millions of transgender and non-binary Americans that we see them, they belong and they should be treated with dignity and respect. Well, happy Easter. Now, uh, the Twitter account End Wokeness replied to Biden's tweet saying, no, we aren't doing this crap, Joe. Today is Easter, period, and ratio, and ratioed Biden's tweet was. He had 16,000 retweets, but more than twice as many comments, all of which were completely negative. Incidentally, Biden's Transgender Day of Visibility tweet was liked 75,000 times, but the End Wokeness tweet saying this is a load of crap was liked 85,000 times. It's a sign of just how mad the Biden administration is when, of all people, Caitlyn Jenner makes sense by comparison. You remember Caitlyn Jenner, better known as Bruce, who won a decathlon gold medal at the Olympics, now identifies as a woman. Caitlyn Jenner said, I am absolutely disgusted that Joe Biden has declared the most holy of holy days, a self-proclaimed Catholic, that's Biden, as transgender day of visibility. Mm. The only thing you should be declaring on this day is he is risen. Well said, Caitlyn Jenner, but Liz, should it take Caitlyn Jenner to point this out? No, it shouldn't. But of course, it makes perfect sense when you realise that their end game is the ruination of every single bit of Western culture. And we, my friends, are in the end game. That's what's so obvious here. Here we have the leader of the free world, the president of the United States of America. He could have made it on any other day. Many people have argued, and it does make sense, no, no, this date has been Trans Visibility Day for years and years. Yeah. But as you read out at the beginning, it's not every single one of those LGBTIQ days that the president puts his weight behind, sends out a statement like that, being like, by the powers invested in me, this is... So he chose the holiest day in the Christian calendar for Christians and Catholics alike, billions of us, as you said, he chose to publicly attack it by redefining it as belonging to the trans community instead of of Christians. There is no way this was not deliberate. And the fact that this man calls himself a devout Catholic, he is an absolute liar. He, he's about as Catholic as their current Pope is, which isn't very much at all. But lastly, I want to underline the irony in his tweet there, calling uh, uh, they're, they're them so courageous and so brave. These are the people we are told on a daily basis may end their lives if we get their pronouns wrong. Mm. Uh, and, and who are happy to make everybody else's life hell. You can get dragged into court depending on which jurisdiction you live in. You can lose your job if you do get their pronouns wrong. In fact, there's a guy in Scotland in jail right now because he refused to call a certain student by their preferred pronouns and he wanted to stick with biology. He's a man of faith. So... I don't think it's fair to hold up this entire... And, of course, you can't lump everyone in there. Sure. But to say that, oh, so courageous, so brave, when the first thing that comes to my mind is how much pain and agony they put everybody else through, certain radical members of that community, with no tolerance and no acceptance of any faith believers who think differently to them on this topic or just everyday secular people who say, mm, I'm sticking with biology, thanks. Mm. And yet, uh, you know, no respect for our holiest of days from the Commander-in-Chief himself. And Penny Wong bought into it um, here as well. Yeah. She tweeted yesterday, the Albanese Labor government stands with trans and gender diverse people across Australia. On this hashtag TDOV, we celebrate your strength and your courage and we recommit to advocating for trans and gender diverse rights in the pursuit of equality. Now, uh, going back to Biden, you, you have 
national days or supposed national days for pretty much everything under the sun. You know, there's a national day for apricot jam, there's a national day for scones, there's a national day for this, there's a national day for that. No soon one's enough, got three months and 28 days I, worth of national correct, days, though. Correct, correct. And, and soon enough, there'll be a national day for the late debate as well. But none of those have to be declared by any government or any president. Yep. As you outlined, Liz, the... the day of transgender visibility has been on March the 31st for a long time. And there's no reason that it could not have been on March 31st this year. It just didn't need a presidential decree to note that. The day, if you're a transgender person, you would have still known that it was Transgender Visibility Day. If it's something you're interested in, you would have known it was Transgender Visibility Day. It is exactly the same. It just did not require the intervention of the president to no. make the yeah. point of it. But, of course, the point of making the point is to cast aside one version of events and then uplift another. I mean, seriously, three months and 28 days worth of national uh, days. I can't get over it. Remember last year, I think it was last year, we were talking about uh, the fact that they wanted to have a summer of Pride That's over right. in the US. They were yeah. going to take the entire three season months. to celebrate. But, like, is there anything else on earth that gets celebrated for three months and, and 28 days? Our, our soldiers get a measly two days a year in Anzac Day and Remembrance Day, but, you know, if you're LGBTIQ, three and four, four months.